Hey my darlings, today I have a very peculiar video. Um, <laughs> everything on this channel is about food, but I don't know, you guys should tell me if you enjoy content like this. So, um, I'm back home in Abuja and my parents, and I think their practice here is to buy their protein like in a hole and just have it butchered and store it up in the fridge i think it's easier for them because they're a lot older than i am so maybe it won't be easy to just do all the runs all the time and i think it's cheaper somehow to buy in bulk so since i was around i watched the um butchers like you know kill a cow and um, skin it and all of that so i wanted to share this video with you um warning it will be a little bit graphic so let me go on explaining so when i got there well i um they had already like put the rope on the cow so the first thing they did was tie the legs as you can see there they tied the four legs and um the pink legs together i think so it couldn't so it doesn't run or injure them when they tie <clears throat> when they tie it together what they do is um flip it to the side that is convenient for them to you know to, you know, to, to um i think to cut the neck but before they cut the neck there's a um way they bent the head i think he's saying it now they bent the head like in like almost a three 180 angle and put the horns into the ground i did ask them and they were like it's just to secure the neck and all that's so not when they are cutting it doesn't jump off or the horns don't um you know um the horns can be deadly can injure them so yeah you can see the cow fighting for its life sorry like i said earlier it has very graphical uh, stuff i hope you guys enjoy i don't know just sound off in the comment section so the people that killed these are muslims on um, it is according to their own islamic rights it is halal for a meat to be halal i think you have to let all of the blood drain from it so when they cut the neck of the cow after flipping the head like 180 degrees they allow all of the blood to drain that's what we are like watching in the video just take a minute so i kind of did like i i did speed up on um, this part of it so this is what they're just doing cut up the neck allow all of the blood to drain out of it i can see um one of the guys his weight is on the belly of the cow holding the legs also that is a safety precaution these guys are very very safety conscious they might not know all hsc and all of that because i myself i'm a hsc officer but they're very safety conscious you tie the hand and the four legs and you turn the head 180 degrees bury the the horns because that could be deadly that could injure you so when you bury it you flip and you flip the head then you should like cut off the neck so here we are just waiting <laughs> we're here just waiting for all of the blood to drain out yeah that's what's happening it was i don't know i kind of felt bad for it that if that's it so palpitating there but it's already it's dead um this air stuff has been cut off you know and all of that so yeah i, I think the blood is done draining and you know the next thing we did is to skin the meat there are actually two cows killed i think if you guys like this video i'll show you another style of how um the meat was being dressed for this one i think my mom required for them to um skin it that's in nigeria <laughs> it's called pomo yeah she didn't want it on um on the meat she wanted them to just skin it like this knife looks small but it's super sharp it's super sharp so they just do like very light incisions and try not to cut into the body then they begin to like just skin like remove skin for meat guys <laughs> this was really something to watch so they just go in with like a straight vertical cut from the neck region down to um like the private parts like of it and you take this sharp knife make like a shallow cut and you just begin to skim it to the side after watching like <laughs> the killing of these two cows i feel like <laughs> i feel like i can kill i can butcher a cow myself if like all the safety precautions are you know properly handled so yeah this is them dividing everything light cuts and just going sideways with their knife so 
if you want to like kill your own i think this <laughs> this should be a guide video for you to watch so they're just going by the side side by side and cutting up the cow first the leg still making like lights um shallow cuts because you don't want to cut too deep you cut too deep then you're cutting meat into the pomo although i <laughs> heard someone in nigeria is trying to ban pomo because this pomo can also serve as maybe leather or something but uh, pomo you should not get rid of pomo we all love pomo so yeah as it they're just um skimming out like the skin out of it you know when they're done like taking out the skin i think they roasted it it's not videoed here because i just videoed the butchering process the sun and the weather in abuja is very hot and trying to stay away from you know burning my skin with the sun so i just watched the parts you know that i could next thing i noticed after they have um, taken skin off of the meat yeah next thing is just to cut because i'm trying to teach you how you can butcher and um take care <laughs> i don't know if you can but i mean like if you follow the safety precautions i think you can so i'm just teaching you or show you how it is done yeah so after they take skin off of it they just cut it into like four major parts so that's the hind legs and the four legs they cut it out and section it before they go in with a straight cut to the stomach you can see here right here there is one of the four legs they are cutting off they'll cut the other one by the right and then cut off the legs and um before they go into the um, middle of the cow yeah so when they caught it they'll just yeah they had opened the car already then i went in for a drink and i was back and um yeah this is it they are just cutting it up to smaller chunks that's what we do here cut it into small chunks put it in a um, plastic or a ziplock bag and just store it in the fridge and use and use until it's finished and then you have to get that note out so yeah this is um, the cut of meat you're helping us cut it into little little chunks yeah we're going to have it for christmas and yeah there's so much meat so much meat did you enjoy watching this give me a thumbs up thank you mm -hmm.